Welcome to the sunny west coast of Norway. Today, I'm gonna to give you the 15,000 review. Or to be honest, it's more like a 16,855 kilometers review. I can't tell you enough how much I enjoy the 790 Adventure R. For all of you guys who have followed me along for a while now, knows that I really enjoy adventure riding. And uh, I would try to ride as much gravel as possible. But here in Norway, there are some limitations to it. So there will be a lot of uh, traveling on tarmac. And uh, I do think the 790 Adventure R is really good for everything you throw at it. It's really good at gravel and it's really good on tarmac. It's just enough punch in the engine to give you a good time on tarmac and still it a beast on the gravel roads. I'm not nearly good enough to uh, use its full potential on gravel roads. Uh, you can see online people like every other Sunday or what is called his channel is called. Uh, the guys ride the bike really hard off and off road stuff or in single track stuff that uh, for me personally, I could only dream of having tracks uh, or trails like that here in, uh, in Norway. But still, it shows a little bit what this bike is capable of. I have two kind of setups on my bike for uh, bringing along all my gear. I have the Enduristan Blizzard large uh, saddlebags and I have a Tornado bag I put on top and back. And uh, lately, this season, I bought the uh, Moscomoto Reckless uh, 80 version 3.0. And um, I've been riding with that lately uh, on all my adventures. I really enjoy that setup on this bike. I uh, kind of prefer the Moscomoto over the Andristan for my kind of adventures. I, I don't want to go into quality and stuff like that, but um, there are both, they are both good options uh, to have on the bike. I do not use hard case or uh, racks or hard luggage on my bike. I'm a firm believer that uh, soft bags are the way to go for uh, especially my kind of riding. As you may notice, I ride a bike without the side fairings. And that's just because uh, when I mount the uh, Moscomodo Reckless on the bike, it fits better or closer into the bike without the uh, plastic fairings on the rear. The straps go uh, so close into the bike that it, uh, it's not a problem with the boots. So that's why I ride it without the fairings. I know a lot of guys think I just took away the rear fairings for aerodynamic purposes, but um, <laughs> it's actually because of my luggage. <laughs> I just had the bike back from uh, the 15,000 service. I'm really surprised by the, how cheap it was to put it into the workshop or into the garage to uh, do the service. The 15,000 service cost me about uh, 4,000 Norwegian krona, and that's about approximately $400. Uh, give or take a little bit, because uh, if you're good customers with your local shop, you'll probably get some discount. But uh, it's roughly around $400 or 4,000 Norwegian krona. When I was into the 15,000 service, I changed the rear brake uh, line on warranty. That was an easy job, for what I could understand. Ugh. 
as you can see, I have not done uh, too many upgrades uh, since the last uh, review. Uh, the only thing I've done uh, since the last, I think, is the um, triple clamp. Just to make sure the headlight don't vibra vibrate off. Or, uh, I've seen a lot of pictures online that support for the front light is uh, breaking off uh, on heavy off-road riding. So uh, I bought that as a cheap insur insurance for that. I almost forgot the clutch lever and the brake lever from Wallet Hart, a company down in South Africa, is a really good update to the normal levers that are there. I can highly recommend them. It's a true two clutch and two finger brake. It's it's amazing. Uh, I know it's really expensive, but still, my God, these things are good. And uh, apart from that, I do have uh, the headlight protection. I have uh, the KTM uh, original handguards. I have uh, small risers. I do have the power part um, brake fluid uh, lid with a new gasket. I uh, had a little bit of leakage there uh, when, with the or original one. And I see now when I'm filming, I uh, do still have a little leakage on the reservoir, so uh, I will contact my dealer and see what we can work out on that. I do have the lower foot pegs from Raid Garage. They are 1.5 centimeters lower than the original one, and they're wider and uh, much more rugged, and they feel really good to stand driving. I do have the bash plate from Adventure Spec. I do have a crap flap in front to uh, prevent the exhaust from getting all the mud from the front wheel. One of the best upgrades I did with the bike was the new exhaust from uh, SC Project. I absolutely love the sound uh, of the slip-on from SC Project. It's just really great. Ooh, come on, that would be nice. I do think that uh, the negative uh, reviews are getting way too much attention online. And that's uh, one of the reasons I actually do this uh, 15,000 review. Uh, I was thinking about waiting until it had uh, been riding 20,000 kilometers. But I see a lot of guys complaining about the clutch, the oil leakage. Of course, it's really uh, poor for the, those guys who experience uh, a faulty bike just after a couple of kilometers. But uh, I do think that just a, mi a minority of um, all the owners of the 790. I do think there is a lot of owners out there that are really happy with the bike, that have no problems, like myself. Uh, the only problem I had with my bike was the front rotors. Uh, the brake disc kind of laggy when I was braking in low speed. Uh, I got that uh, change on warranty after about 10,000 kilometers. And um, now I have it back. Uh, I just uh, changed them and uh, I still have the same feeling now. And uh, my me mechanic at uh, Rydbergen, he has done some research on it and he thinks it's uh, more the hub of the wheel, not so much the brake disc. So uh, we are work still working out that and I will keep you notice uh, when I get an update. All the bikes I own have had minor issues that was no problem to uh, repair on warranty or get easy fix to kind of go around. Yes, you, you spend a lot of money on a bike. Everything should perform uh, really good uh, from the start. But uh, what can you do? There is there's just something with this bike I really enjoy. And it's still my favorite bike. It's still my jack of all trades. It's just... It puts a grin on my face every time I'm out riding it. I ride it back and forth to work. I ride it on uh, small adventures, longer adventures. And uh, what can I say? <laughs> I love it. It's the perfect bike for me. Some of the electronics you get on this bike are really useful. I would not be without them. And uh, therefore, I don't think there is any other bike I would rather have than the 790. Even with its small faults, even with the small thing, it it just 
appeals to me. It just fits me so well when I'm out driving. Yeah, I, yeah, I love it. It's a brilliant bike. Go try it. But don't try it if you're not into buying a new bike, because I can guarantee you, if you take a ride on this one, you probably end up buying it. Like I did. Take care. See you in the next one.